Hello my garden friends, it's Beverly here and welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time visiting, a special welcome to you. Today it's March the 14th and today I will be doing my last set of indoor seed starting for the upcoming garden season. The seeds I will be planting today are my warm weather crops such as my tomato, my cucumber, my okra, my zucchini, and my squash. And before I get into those, I'll just do a quick recap on my seed starting for the 2024 garden season. On January 21st, I started my very first set of seeds, and those were my pepper seeds. I also planted some watermelon and some eggplant seeds. And I started those early because those do take quite a bit of time to get fully established. Then I went on to planting some perennial seeds, quite a bit of perennials such as oleac, um, blanket flowers, some um, snapdragons and so forth. And I started those um, in January also because I wanted to give those enough time to get established so I can get me some blooms for this upcoming garden season. I also planted in January, I planted some annuals such as um, petunias as I do need those for my um, hanging baskets, which I do make up every year. And then I went on to doing my cool weather crops in February. And those are my spinach, my kale, my Swiss chard, and so forth. So now it's March and I'm now on to planting my warm weather crops. And I choose to start my warm weather crops in March because these crops, they're um, frost intolerant. Um, I won't be getting these crops into the garden until two weeks after my predicted last frost date. And that's just to be sure that all frost has passed before I get these outdoors. Because as I said, these are not frost tolerant. These are plants that likes warmth. They like the heat. To, to grow and to produce. So that leaves me with a roughly 10 weeks to get these um, seeds started and to get them fully established and be ready for the outdoor garden. So my last frost date is um, predicted to be around the 20th of May, somewhere there, as you know, it's not an exact date, it's an estimation as to when my last frost date will be. These crops will be going out after my predicted frost date, so they may be going out late May, early April, just to be on the safe side. So that's what I'll be doing today, planting these warm weather crops. And if you'd like to see how I do that, you can always check out one of my previous videos with me planting my seeds. And if not, you can just easily follow along at the back of your package where it directs you as to how to go about to plant these warm weather crop from seeds. Um, so, from here on, I will need to get out in the garden. Um, one, I like to pre-prep my garden in fall, which I did, but now I'm thinking I want to redesign my garden. So I need to get outside and get that started um, as I'm in the process of hardening off my cool weather crops. And these cool weather crops, I will be getting out in the garden in another week or two. So for this week, um, hardening these crops off. Luckily, we are enjoying double digit temperatures. Like today, it's 18 degrees um, Celsius, which is just great. And once I get these cool weather crops out in the garden, I will still need to monitor the temperature 
especially at nights, because these can tolerate um, a bit of frost. They can do even one degree, anything from one, from four to one degrees um, Celsius, but anything below that I may need to protect them. And if, um, as you may all know, uh, even up to April, we could be getting snow. So I will have to keep a keen eye on these and um, provide some form of coverage in case we fall into very low temperatures or we may get heavy frost. As I said, they can tolerate a light frost, but anything heavy will most likely damage these um, cool weather crops. Then I will be going on to doing some direct sowing and I like to direct my um, sow my root crops based on experience. I've started carrots and beetroot indoors, but I find um, the harvest is not as huge as I would like. So, and it's a bit tedious to thin. So this year I want to direct sow my carrots and my beetroots, and that's what I'll be doing. Um, spinach is also a cool weather crop, so I want to direct sow some of these in my garden um, when I'm getting my cool weather crops in, which is another two weeks. Also, bush bean is also frost tolerant, so I will be getting some of these in also. Also, my radish. All right, so these are my upcoming projects for the garden season. Um, last year, I tried growing corn and um, started the seed indoor. And like in 10 days, I had me this, you know, quite tall plant. So I realized this is not ideal for starting indoor. So I will be definitely direct sowing this um, one in the garden. And this will be after all process pass because this loves heat. This is heat um, tolerant, not um wholehearted so this would be after all for us as fast also i'll be growing some sunflower from seeds and these i will be direct sowing and i will be sowing these also after all frost as fast yeah so this is me giving you a quick update on what's going on with my indoor seed starting for the upcoming garden season and to let you know that i'm busy behind the scenes, still um, prepping for the season as I will be starting my indoor warm crop see, um, seeds today. And again, I'm doing that based on previous experience because last year I planted my cucumber and my tomato. I planted them back in February and they got so huge on me. I remember potting up my tomatoes twice. So I don't want to do that again this year. And that's why I'm starting them in March. All right. So they, yeah. So that's a quick recap of what I'm up to on the inside before I head outside to get my garden prepared for the taking for taking things outdoors so i hope you will follow along with me on the outside all right so again that's a quick update thanks for your time and you enjoy the rest of your day <music>